So let's talk about uh, molecularly what an enzyme has to do in order to be able to uh, get the substrate specificity that's needed in order to recognize a single substrate uh, in a cell amongst a large amount of uh, different molecules that may be around. And so uh, let's take, uh, for instance, a, uh, a, a simple mechanism uh, for a potential enzyme where E is the enzyme and S is the substrate. And so the reactants are enzyme and substrate and uh, these are in equilibrium with each other to associate to form an enzyme substrate complex. And then there's a second uh, chemistry step, uh, which uh, results in formation or conversion of the substrate to the product and simultaneous release or dissociation of the product, and then regeneration of the enzyme uh, so, the, so that now the enzyme can undergo another turnover. All right. And so what's important is uh, for uh, for substrate specificity is that the enzyme is able to complement uh, different molecular regions of the substrate. So let's just take a look at this uh, schematic of a potential substrate. Uh, and so remember, this is just a molecule, right? Or just uh, making it a little bit simpler to see as a schematic. And so there may be different um, interaction points or different uh, chemical properties of the substrate depending on the region uh, uh, that we're looking at at the substrate. And so, for instance, uh, these circles with H's are uh, hydrophobic regions. Uh, for instance, uh, the uh, red circle with a uh, minus in it is a negative charge. Uh, there may be hydrogen bond donors such as an NH or hydrogen bond acceptors such as this oxygen shown in the substrate. And so for the enzyme to recognize this, it needs to be able to complement these interactions. So for instance, the hydrophobic patches or the nonpolar regions that are on the substrate, uh, when it binds to the enzyme shown here in green, uh, it needs, there needs to be a corresponding uh, hydrophobic patch nearby, uh, which allows for there to be a favorable uh, interaction here. So the hydrophobic patches or these hydrophobic nonpolar regions of the substrate uh, have corresponding hydrophobic patches and enzymes uh, in the same area where in, uh, the substrate binds. Um, the hydrogen bond donor uh, of the substrate uh, complements with the hydrogen bond acceptor in the enzyme. Likewise, the hydrogen bond acceptor uh, in the substrate complements with a hydrogen bond donor uh, present in the enzyme. And the negative charge uh, in the substrate uh, complements with the positive charge in the enzyme. And so in this way, the, uh, and also uh, one thing I should mention is uh, there, for instance, we can think of uh, this sort of curved region and then this more uh, squared region uh, as sort of looking at the shape of the particular molecule. And so uh, through sterics and uh, the shape of the active site where the substrate binds, uh, the enzyme needs to be able to accommodate these shapes. So the shape of the acrocyte has to complement the shape of the molecule again. Okay, And so through all these uh, molecular recognition sites, right, complementing these molecular recognition sites, either through H bonding, electrostatic interactions, or hydrophobic regions, or uh, through sterics, uh, complementing the shape of the molecule, the enzyme is able to recognize uh, one, the, uh, like, one particular substrate against in a large inside of the cell, which there are a large number of different types of molecules uh, in inside the cell all at the same time. And it also helps to correctly orient um, the substrate uh, for proper reactivity or for the chemistry that the enzyme is ultimately uh, going to accomplish on the substrate.